Black couple who adopted white twin boys reveal strangers accuse them of kidnapping the children and say they have been pulled over by cops countless times while driving as a family. Jennifer McDuffie Moore, 43, from Pennsylvania, adopted white twin boys. Said she and her husband Harry have been accused of kidnapping the children. Revealed they have been stopped by cops countless times while driving family. A black couple who adopted white twin boys have described how strangers accuse them of kidnapping their own children. Jennifer McDuffie Moore, 43, and husband Harry Moore, 37, from Collingdale, Pennsylvania, took in Braden and Trevor, 3, as foster kids after they were separated at birth from their biological mother, who suffered from drug addiction. Jennifer, an early learning specialist and co-owner of a childcare program, and Harry, a mechanic, described racist episodes they have experienced as the black parents of white children. Jennifer said the family have been pulled over by cops countless times and strangers often treat them with suspicion, adding, a lady had been watching us playing at the playground, and when one of the twins had a tantrum she told me she was going to call the cops. I scooped the kids up and she thought I was stealing them. The couple, who started fostering in 2009, first experienced the challenges of a transracial adoption when they adopted Keenan, who was also white, in 2016. But they said that it was more intense adopting the twins in the aftermath of George Floyd's murder and at the height of the Black Lives Matter movement. We often see transracial adoption done the other way, a white family adopting a black child, said Jennifer. Even doing the paperwork, there are a lot of questions about our ability to foster children who are white. It took us 2,695 days to adopt Keenan because we are black. We have conversations about race all the time in our home we talk about it. We know that everyone is different, you have to acknowledge it and not pretend to be colorblind. Last year was crazy. We saw all these racially charged incidents happen and we had to have conversations with our children. But the couple insisted that they would not let race affect their decision to give a home to children in need of one. Harry said, I knew what we were doing was the right thing to do. I try my best not to feed into any nonsense about what people are feeling or doing. Don't get me wrong. I hear little whispers and I get looks going to the supermarket and getting gas with the kids. But I've never paid attention to it or fed into it. The couple first took in the twins for a weekend in July 2018 as respite care for a foster parent struggling to look after the tots, then three months old, who have developmental delays after being born addicted to hard drugs. Jennifer said, they were supposed to stay for a weekend and now they are here forever. They were born with a drug in their systems and so they are medically needy with developmental delays and speech and language issues. Two days after we took them in for a weekend to give their foster carer a break, the agency asked if they could stay for good. We said they could stay with us until they had found a home but then time passed and they were nearly a year old and our whole family, my nieces and our church, pitched in and we eventually started the adoption process. The couple officially adopted the identical twins two years later and they joined their biological children Joy, 21, and Courtney, 11, and their adoptive kids Keenan, 10, and Sanchez, 8, in the family home in Collingdale, Pennsylvania. One mother at a playground even threatened to call the cops when the twins had a tantrum while Jennifer was trying to take them home. Jennifer said, a month ago, we were playing at the playground and the twins didn't want to go home. She explained that after her children threw a tantrum about leaving the play area, a stranger threatened to call the cops. She added, I don't want to justify it because people should mind their own business. The couple added that they have been pulled over by the police countless times while ferrying their large family around in a 12-seat minivan. They recalled an incident five years ago when a police officer interrogated them over two white foster girls who were in their van. We were coming back from a family outing from Delaware and we got pulled over, Jennifer said. We had our children and two little strawberry blonde girls who we were fostering with us and then the first thing the cops asked my husband was, whose kids are those? And he wasn't kind about it. Harry added, he tried to say that the windows of our van were too dark and that's why he pulled us over but we knew why he pulled us over. Jennifer and Harry now feel they cannot imagine their family without Brayden and Trevor. Harry said, they are definitely are our sons. Jennifer added, people don't realize that when children come to you in infancy, they have never known another mom or dad. From the time they were three months, we've woken up to look after them and changed every diaper and attended to every boo-boo. We never tell the children what to call us, we let them label us and Brayden and Trevor call us mommy and daddy. 
Instead of scrutinizing what color people are or their gender or their preferences, people should understand that love really does support a family. There are so many kids out there without homes. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment.